So today's fly that we're going to tie is a uh, black foam bodied flying ant pattern. Um, this one's relatively small, tied on a size 16 scud hook. It's just a great little attractor ant pattern for uh, summertime fishing. Late July, August, early September when you just want to kind of probe the banks with something easy to see. Um, floats very well and uh, I think you like it. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. So here we're going to be tying for you today a foam flying ant and you can tie this fly in many different colors but um, I choose to basically tie it in black or cinnamon and I'll uh, kind of show you how we do it here. Start a little thread and it really doesn't matter uh, what color you use because it's all going to be hidden anyway. I just happen to have this rusty orange on the bobbin. So I usually take my foam and make a little point in the end of it and it just gives it a nice little tie-in spot to reduce some of the bulk. We'll kind of catch it and just tie it down onto the back of this hook here. Clean it up a little bit. So once I get to this point, I'll just take and pull the hook out and reposition it in the vise. For the body, just a little bit of black UV ice dub. This fly is really, really easy to tie and it floats very well and is really easy to see. All the things that we typically like in a good fly. So we're going to use a little bit of this uh, <clears throat> black ice tub, build a little bump in the back. It's kind of a little round ball here. And then we'll take, pull the foam over. We want to pull it fairly tight, right in the middle of the hook. Cinch it down. That gives us our back little bubble or ball of the ant body. We'll take a little more ice stub here and we'll do the same thing again in the front. We'll build a little ball. This time we want to make it about half the size of the last one we did. And we'll do the same thing. We'll pull that foam really tight as tight as we can without tearing it anyway. A couple tight wraps and then we'll take this thread and advance it back over the foam into the center again and we're going to double this foam back over to the middle cinch it down try not to rip the foam when you do it there we go and then we'll pull this up tight try to stretch that foam and then tie it or clip it I'm sorry and we'll try to tie that down a little bit so there you see we have a nice little ant body um, this one's tied on a size 16 scud hook. Gives it just sort of a little bit of, I don't know, maybe a little bit more lifelike shape than the, the straight hook. You certainly can tie them on a straight hook if you wish. Uh, for the next step, we're going to use some root beer crystal flash for an underwing. Oh, maybe a dozen strands of that or so. We'll tie that in. Cut off their tag ends. And you can leave that long for now. That's not really going to bother anything. For the wing part, I'll show you we're using the widow's web here. Great wing material. Good on chubbies and parachutes, anything that you want to have a nice visible floaty wing. So we're going to tie this on splaying outwards a little bit on that side and then bring this over and tie a little on my side here and I'll just pull all of this back my fingers out of the way here we'll cut it just beyond the body and you can see that got a nice little splayed wing there 
Okay, moving on. So for the next step, we're going to use some centipede legs, small, and I'll just do two on each side. Do a set on this side. And get these off of here. And a set on my side here. These little guys can be kind of unruly at times, but a little practice, you get the hang of it. Cinch those down nice. And then just to finish the fly back to our black ice dub. And we just want to basically dub enough to cover our thread work. Kind of bury all that thread a little bit more. Pull those rubber legs out of the way when I do this. There we go, and then we'll just give it a quick little hand whip finish. And keep those rubber legs out of there. And we'll trim these legs. So we don't want them real long. Oops. About like so. And they have a nice little foam floating ant or flying ant floats very well very easy to see you can kind of trim some of this stuff up if you want it doesn't really matter there you go black foam flying ant great little pattern here in uh, the summer in the west thanks for watching